one. Grid layer plays out the widgets as a matrix. Two. It is similar to the stack layout orientation of left to right and up to bottom. Either we set rows or cols, which stands for columns, and the layout knows that this number is the maximum number of widgets in a given row or column, depending on which parameter is given. 3. In this KV file, we set cols to be 3. There are 9 buttons, and since none have an explicit size end, all will be the same size, and a matrix of 3x3 three three is created. 4. The main Python file is shown. It imports the grid layout module as the alias the grid. This is not the standard way of doing things in KeyV, as now to access the class grid layout, we have to write the grid.grid layout. This is a confusing way of doing things, and not recommended. 5. This is the result showing the buttons in a 3x3 matrix. We can also put rows at 3 in the KeyV file, and the result will be the same. 6. Each widget in grid layout has a size hint of 1,1. 1, Thus, to change the width and height, we have to give a scaling factor. 7. In this KeyV file, only the button B3 has an explicit size hint, which is 2,2. Thus, this button is twice the width and height as the other buttons. This is only true in reference to buttons, not in the row or column of the widget with the new scaling. All widgets in the same row will get the same height, and all widgets in the same column will get the same width. 8. In this result, we can see that even though we explicitly only changed B3, we can see how it also affects the row and column, which is scaled. 9. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blogspot.com.